What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear these two words, I do? For me, it means that I am willing to make sacrifices for you and to go through thick and thin with you. These two words may be very simple but they carry a lot of weight because of the commitment and the life that the couple are setting out to have. Uh, we knew each other since we were three years old. We were in the same class, the same school, through primary school and secondary school. Basically, we were friends our whole life. Even in church, we got, but we only got together much later on when we, about, we were about 20 years old. I think it's safe to say we have already spent a good amount of our lives together. I think it was when we led the cell group together that we got closer and opened up about our personal lives more to each other. That was how we started seeing each other as potential partners. And he's got swirls of passion in his eyes Uncovering the dreams he dreams at night As much and hard as he tries to hide I can see Some funny, interesting or annoying characteristic you find it about each other during the courtship. Uh, I think for me, it is. Uh, I always knew that Iman was good with kids, but I think something that I found out about her during the courtship is that she had many deep philosophies about handling kids and how to teach kids. And something interesting is that when she eats rice, she finishes every single grain of them, and she has to have at least one rice dish every day. And something also related to this is that I have become her personal food vacuum cleaner and I eat all the food that she orders because she cannot finish it. As much as I know how much Josh liked music, uh, it was only when we got together I realised how much he was he's actually in love with music. He would always ask me to listen to our favourite songs and ask me, uh, what do you think the instruments are playing here? How many instruments are playing here? And what are the different layers in the music? Um, and we would actually discuss the song and the instruments while listening to the song in the car. Take chance with me. I actually enjoy discussing music with Josh because I like to see how he geeks out over the arrangement of the song and the different instruments in the song. Um, I also like creating crafts with Josh. He, can, he was actually the one who taught me how to crochet and it is something that I can never get right because my fingers are not as nimble as his. Even though it was really intimidating at the start, I actually also enjoy going to the gym with Josh nowadays and found myself looking forward to the gym sessions throughout the day during work. As with every typical family, I asked her parents for their permission to propose to her. I remember that I did this after receiving the ring I customised for her. And I was down with a very bad case of food poisoning then, but I forced myself to come to her house while she was out uh, for her dance class. And she was filming mad for not listening to her because she asked me to rest at home, but I didn't tell her that I actually went to her house to ask her parents for permission to marry her. Uh, I remember him hinting to me about a year before he proposed actually, that he was going to do it at the end of the year or even the next year. But I didn't think much of it. And it turned out to be like, what, almost six months later. I think it was through my interactions with her that I saw her kind-heartedness and her willingness to go through thick and thin with me. She is someone who is willing to love me even through the difficult times and work things out with me instead of just failing. She is also someone who helps me to become a better person and she accepts both my strengths and my weaknesses. She provides me with a quiet but strong sense of comfort as a partner who is willing to weather the storms of life together.
Um, even though Josh is not exactly good with his words of comfort or saying things that I want to hear sometimes, he shows me through his actions and in the small ways that sometimes I will even overlook, like letting me walk on the inside of the pavement and the road, helping me with my schoolwork and work things, and letting me have the first bite or sip of our meal. Um, I also think that I knew he was the one because of me being the whirlwind I can be sometimes, Josh is the soft and soothing sense of calmness that I need.